hey everyone and we're starting off this video with brows as usual lining the top and the bottom of my brows but wait before you continue if you haven't already what you doing sis subscribe join the family and make sure you click on that bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload and at the end make sure you hashtag beauty best friends to let me know that you're with me sis so continuing on I'm lining my brows with the wet and wild color cold liner in the shade Sima brown and then I'm gonna fill in the brows using my Anastasia dip brow pomade and as usual any products that I use in my videos will be linked in the description box below so I'm just using my spoolie to evenly distribute the dip brow pomade and now I'm cleaning up my brows with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Espresso. And once that's done, I am going to blend out that concealer so we don't have any harsh lines. For the eyes, I am using the P. Louise Room of Five Base as my eyeshadow primer using patting motions with the same brush I used to blend out the concealer. And with my Morphe 35M, I am starting off with that light brown shade to mute out my eyebrow bone to set it and then the red as my transition and then I'm going to use that purple and the black to basically blend into the crease. As you can see, I'm using the shadows to wing out to give me a more dramatic wide eye effect. And I'm going back with that P. Louise base using my concealer brush and we're going to cut the crease. And what I am just doing is just tapping the concealer just to make sure it gets nice and tacky and to get off any of the extra product that's on my lid to prevent from creasing. Okay, so after I laid my crease colors, I struggled and struggled to do this liner. I guess trying to make sure I was still within frame, but I'm using the Inglot liner in 77 and cleaning up the line using that P. Louise base and then on with lashes. So I just want to let you know that's why the liner part was cut out, you guys. So now we're going to carry on with the face and I'm priming using the Touch and Soul No Problem products and I forgot the name of the oil that I also used. And once I get a tacky layer from the primers, I am setting my nose which gets oiliest with the Zuri Flawless Face Powder and on with the Black Radiance, I believe it's the color Perfect Foundation. Once I lay down my foundation, I color correct on top of the foundation now um, per Jackie Aina. I'll link the video where I started doing this on, which is the last video. Make sure you guys check that out. I'll link it in the cards and also at the end of this video and the description box. So check it out. And I'm using the LA Girl Orange Corrector and then I'm going to conceal on top of that corrector. I just noticed it gives me a nice flawless full coverage application every single time. So check and put us on sis. Once you blend out the concealer you want to go back in with whatever you used 
for your foundation to blend out to eliminate any harsh lines and then I'm going back with another shade of the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Fun just to brighten under my eyes and you want to keep that focus only on the inner corners of your under eyelids and then I've started setting my face using my setting spray and then applying my setting powder which I'm sorry that clip got eliminated so right here I brought the Anastasia foundation stick and I started with the shade earth but as you can see that was the same exact shade of my skin complexion so I went back and used my trusty black radiance color perfect foundation stick which never fails me and everything was pretty much easy steady from there but the Anastasia foundation stick is great for nose contour FYI <laughs> So for highlight, I'm using those two shimmer shades from the 35M palette and I'm using that as highlight and I've been doing this lately. I highlight first, I do my blush and then I set my contour. Kind of like what you do with your eyes. You do your transition, then your crease color and then your outer corner color to give for a nice blend. So to dust away that Becca, Becca setting powder, I'm using the Zuri powder just to brush it away. And then on with the lower lid colors, which is the exact colors that I placed into my crease. And we're almost finished you guys. I'm using my Wet n Wild mascara to um, apply coats of mascara to the top and the bottom and now I'm lining my lips with the ColourPop lip pencil and then I'm just using one of the Black Radiance concealers um, to basically put on the inner parts of my lips and I'm going to blend it out with a blending brush and by pressing my lips together and that pretty much sums up the video you guys so i thank you guys so much for watching and to all my new subscribers thank you guys so much for thinking it not robbery to subscribe and join the beauty best friends gang and i love you guys so much for your support make sure you share and at the end of this video i'm just going to show you what outfit i chose to pair with this eye look Yes, honey, I'll see you in the next video.